this is a, a faithful saying, and these things I want you to affirm constantly. That those who have believed, is, you see, I like that. Did you notice? He said those who have believed. That's a key word there. So you know he, he's talking about you born again Christians who have believed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That those who have believed in God mm -hmm. should be careful to maintain. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, that's, oh, let's stop right there. Oh, maintain good works. What do you mean God maintain? Come on now. I mean, I just, I'm just, not, not Jesus, I'm just good for one good work a week. And you telling me I need to maintain, maintain me con continually. That means I need to work at this thing every day. I'm just good for one good work a week, Jesus. Yep. And that, and that is when I say good morning to Deacon Sonora. Yes. That's my good work for the week. Hmm. And it says that these things are profitable, are good and profitable to men, are valuable. Right. Wow. So here we are again. So now God wants me to maintain good works for Kendra Ruaz. Mm. <laughs> I got to do something good for Kendra. Right. And what about me, God? I mean, what about me? He said, have faith in the other people that I've told to bless you. That's right. Amen. This is how I designed the system. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about you. That's your problem. If you worry about you, you're going to try to take care of you. That's why you're malfunctioning. Be careful. Say, in other words, make it your business. And Pastor Roy, I've been trying to get a business business up for years, and I haven't been able to get my own business. Well, God said, this is the business I call you to. And make it your business. Practice and take the lead in this. Take the lead. He's telling you to go after this. Yes. So, you know, Amen. it's amazing that if you don't know what someone, put it this way, if you don't talk to people, you won't know if they have a need. That's right. You want to be a recluse. That's not an animal, y'all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a person that withdraws himself from the, the company, the group, from the group. You weren't called to be a recluse. You were called to a body where you support one another. Mm -hmm. And if you don't talk to one another, the hand will not support the foot. The knee will not support the leg. The eyes will not support the body or the brain will not support the body. The nose won't smell like it's supposed to smell. So that everybody else inside the body, the organs will be blessed by the aroma. I don't want to smell today. No, I'm not going to smell anything today. So all the other parts of the body won't enjoy the aroma. Selfish, right? That's right. That's selfishness. Yeah. Foot. No, I'm not putting any shoes on today, and I'm not going anywhere. I'm not taking you anywhere today. And you know you need some bread for that sandwich. Right. And you want to go down to Walmart to buy you some bread to make this sandwich. And the foot said, I'm not walking today. I'm tired. And you got to write this uh, resume. Yes, sir. 
and your finger said, no, not today. I'm not writing, I'm not typing, not today. All of you are part of a body. And when you don't serve one another, that's what you're saying. I'm not, no. I can care less about you. It's all about me now. I'm too busy. But you all would say, I want to be more like Jesus. Show thought and attention, consideration. Think about good works. Matthew 10 and verse 39, the message says, if your first concern is to look after yourself, you'll never find yourself. But if you forget about yourself and look to me, you will find both yourself and me. If you find your life, you'll lose it. If you lose your life, you'll find it. We've been trying to find our life for years and haven't found it yet because we refuse to lose it. When we're kind, when we're gentle, when we're merciful, when we're walking in love, we benefit ourselves. I'm going to close with that.